Hello everyone. Today I am not going to share a t-shirt design tutorial with you. I am going to talk about some basics of designs like using colors in your design. Today I get an order on fiber to make this design. This was their previous design, the fifth annual, and this is their seventh annual ceremony or something like this so they wanted this same design but in seventh and some were replaced so this one i make and uh, my client gave me this as his logo and he want to use this on front of a t-shirt so i am a bit angry about that about this kind of design this this is very unprofessional work and these people are destroying this designing community and this is what i am going to talk about when you are making a logo yes of course your client will like this one because he don't know or he don't understand designs like us so he may think that oh this is looking very cool they, he used too much colors here to make this design but these are not the kind of logo and when he he has this png image if you can see if i click here it is showing me it is 72 ppi that means picture per inch and the best quality for printing is 300 dpi or ppi that means this is far less resolution that the than the printing requirement we cannot print a 72 ppi this looks good on screens so when we have to make this kind of designs this one this two i make for him and this takes me a lot of times to trace these images and make so why i am making this kind of designs and that designer i don't know who he was he made this kind of designs because when we are starting to learn designs we try to make too much colorful designs but that is not the way when you are working for your client it's okay if you are making a design colorful that is completely okay but you have to understand one thing that a good design is that which you can convert into any color you want and that can be printed on as a, as a one color design like you can see here if i just convert my design into total black it is still every details is here in this design but when you will convert this kind of designs into one color designs like this gradient so that is not a good design because this is maybe look good on a screen but when it will be printed on a t-shirt this transition will not look like same so i am going to share with you some some of my experience because this becomes a trend now nowadays people just make a random shape like a shape with a letter a and letter z and they are thinking that this is a logo but no that is not a logo no that is not a good design even if you cannot turn that design into one single color this one you can see here this design he I, I don't know who made this if i converted this design into total black color then these details will be missing here because these two three images will be combined with each other so that's why i keep a like this transparency tool i use here to make them each and everyone separate from others so if i just convert it into a single one color design it will look exactly same it is looking on colors but when you are making designs like that the example image he sent me you can see everything here is in proper details so this is a good code this is the quality of a good design now you can think that i made this version so this is a good design and that is not a good design but you need to do some research you need to understand i am going to share with you guys these are the top 10 corporate companies in the world apple google microsoft coca cola amazon facebook ibm so these are the top companies so i am going to share with you their logo and what they did with their logo this is the logo of apple you can see 
this was in 1976 they kept a scenery here like this kind of ribbons here then they started converting their designs and their latest design is this and why they turned from this into this because a good design is that you can do it whatever you want like you if you can you want to print this on a t-shirt it is easily printable if you want to cut this logo through a steel or a metal that is easily possible but this one is not possible to cut through a metal or printed printing like embedding on a wood but this one is possible so this is a good logo when you are you can convert the total design in a single color and then still your design remains the same so that was the apple logo if i just go to the this is the google logo the this was the first logo of google 1997 then they started converting their logos like you can see here they made some 3d effect then they use some drop shadow but the latest logo is this because they use these colors as they represent their brand but you can easily convert this design into a single color and the still all the details will be same look at here this one is a 3d logo so if you turn that or convert that into a single color it will not look 3d so that is why they are flatting their design and this is the latest logo now if i just go to the next one you can see this is microsoft so this is the first logo of microsoft 1975 that was the trend at that time but this is their latest logo these colors represent their brand that's why they are using color here but still if you want to convert it into a single design single color design it will remain the same detailed logo and of course if you wish you can cut through it a metal surface and the logo will be exactly same i'm not just going to show this with you just to just to teach you something that you don't need but of course you of course you need this when you are of you are making a t-shirt design you need to understand that which, which color you should use so always make a design that can be printed on a black shirt as a white design and a white shirt as a black design that is a good design you can see these are the detailed logo of coca cola they had before but this is their latest logo and why they make this flat design you can see they use this transparency tool here because if you convert this design into one single color then each and, and each and every design detail will remain same like this is a pure red color design and the details are still visible and you can if you wish you can just print it on a wooden surface and this logo will have the exact details it has now so these are i can show you too many examples like these are the amazon logos they were making or representing their brand but this is their latest logo and they make it this is their brand color so they are using it but it is still it can be converted into a one single color design and that will be easily printable so the reason i am sharing this video is the world is i mean the world is modernizing we are modern people we are making designs for brand we are you are we are making designs for clothing lines t-shirt designs so whatever we are doing we we also need to be modernized not that you use a too much color in the design and that is a good design no if you just con cannot convert a single design into a one single color design then that is not a good design if your design looks like you can see here this one is my logo on black i made that for that client if i just take this logo here just to show you make a black background for that and if i just select sorry select everything here except this black background if i convert that into white you can see it is still looking the exact same so whatever color i am using here doesn't matter if my design can convert into one single color design this one i had to make because this is the the client's logo so if i just cannot do something like that i can add this drop shadows or a strokes here but i don't like that because that is making this design unprofessional yeah even you can take a look here that 
is this one looking good or this one looking good so this is the reason my of my this video you can see each and every company they are good they are reputed they are updating their logos this was the facebook first logo they use some 3d effect a shadow here still they are updating then they are updating the logo and this is the latest logo of facebook and it is simply a flat design because they want to make a modernized modern logo that can be printed on anything you can print this on anything and your design will remain the same you can convert this into any color you can cut cut it through a metal you can print it on a wooden surface it will remain exact same so this is not about company logos we are doing we are doing t-shirt designs but still when you are doing designs you must understand that when you are making a design try to make it as simple as possible that you can print that on a, any surface you want you can see these are the mcdonald's logo they were they had very much details at the first place when they started and then this is their latest logo just a simple shape to represent their brand this red on yellow on red is their brand color so guys this one was actually to show you you can see this one this is the walt disney logo this is the updated version they had some these are not clearly printable or like cut through metal designs so they are updating their logo to keep it all simple as simple as possible so guys i hope this one will give you some idea that what kind of color you should use in your design and when using making a design for a client try to keep everything every detail separate from each other like this one here if this if this design was black design then these areas are not visible so this is the way of making designs keep everything separate and also keep to keep to try every every single details convertible into one single color and that is a good design so i hope you understand the point of my video here see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you everyone